What up, though? This your boy DOC, man, represent Double HM. Back at you with another quick review for the Loaded Lux Hollow the Dime battle on UW. Now, if you haven't seen this battle, the uh, the link is going to be in the um, description box. So go make sure you go check that out. Then come back to this and tell me your thoughts on who you won, why, and all the other questions and stuff that I'm going to have in this. But to me, I can't even get mad at a person if they say Hollow won, if they say Loaded Lux won. To me, it kind of depends on, because you might already came into this battle with who your favorite rapper is in between the two. So you might lean towards certain rounds towards a certain individual. But you know what I mean? Me personally, I'm going to get into who I think won and why. But honestly, I give my tip my hats off to both of them cats first and foremost. They both came and did their things. I just think the few little complications that actually was going on at the event is kind of what took away from the actual battle. Because at the end of the day, it was a high intense battle. It was a great battle. But you know, to me personally, I think they should do a rematch on the UL, uh, URL card for the simple fact what the URL brings to the table is just something totally different. It's a whole nother level. And I see that now. I see why, you know what I'm saying, the URL is basically the top battle league stage to um, battle on, period. You know what I'm saying? So much love and salute to um, Smack and Beasley and all them. You know what I mean? But there's a the whole five-minute round thing, which, quote-unquote, supposed to have been one of the stipulations that Lux wanted to have. It kind of came back and backfired. Because, you know, they, the time was just purely running, even though even though um, the crowd, they couldn't get the crowd to kind of calm down. And you can constantly see Lux, like, telling the crowd, like, chill out, let me work. You know what he do. The, you know, classic Lux, what he do? He bring that intensity. He got his slogans and his sayings and stuff like that. But one of the things that I like that Hollow the Don did, he, um, you know, he, he kind of gave you that picture of Lux, like, you know, he didn't just come and just be combative or just all the time just rebuttal everything that he was saying. But at the same time, you know, he came at him, you know, to let the crowd know that about the fake, the fake preacher type stuff. And which when I say all this, because after watching it a couple of times, I was thinking, I'm like, damn, maybe Hollow the Don third round should have kind of went first. Because if it would have went first, then it would have kind of made the all the rounds that Lux was saying you know, you already have that picture in your mind. Like, oh, he just on some fake preacher shit. You know what I'm saying? But he say, I guess, you know, they try to save their best for last. But I think, like, if I was his friend, I would told him, like, dog, your third round need to go first. Because that would have just, with the whole situation with bringing Calico Dad up in there, that would have set so much of a tone for it. He definitely would have won the first round. And then the, the intensity would have been on his side. But since it didn't happen like that, you know, Calico, me, um, Loaded Lust got to work. He got to doing what he do. He's showing his lyrical wordplay. You know what I'm saying? He scold niggas like he they father. He they big brother. He the uncle. Like he they teacher. You know what I'm saying? Like he they pastor. He, that's, that's his style. He break you down like he try to rip your soul out of you. You know what I'm saying? And tell you how, this how you could be a better man. Plus let you know, like, this is not reason why you not on my level at the same time. You know what I mean? But, the first two rounds, that's why I say it's kind of hard for me to really just say who won because of the time limits and stuff like that. But I do definitely give Loaded Lux um, the second round. You know what I'm saying? And I, you know, and like I said before, I give Hollow the Don the third round because of the everything that he brought to the table and the stuff, the personals and stuff that he was hitting them with. And that, you know, in that particular round, it just really the first the first round is whoever you feel won the first round. To me, is who won the whole battle. You know what I'm saying? Because it was the incidents where the two, you know, the battle, both of the rhymers was getting cut kind of short and kind of having to stop to check with the time and this and that. You know what I mean? And that's why I say they should do that on the URL card. But anytime you do anything the first time with the pay-per-view and all that stuff like that, you take the hardest hit because... It's, it's unscripted, you know what I mean? So the person that come after you or the league that come after you can sit back and watch, you know, where the mistakes was at and, and what went wrong and try to come into the situation prepared to avoid those particular problems, you know what I'm saying? So 
me personally, I said it, should, it needs to be a rematch. This is one battle I could say need to be a flat out rematch. But the bread part, I know they might have to do some further negotiations or something like that. But to try to come down on it to make sure it happened and everybody benefit from it. Because even though Lux came in there and did what the fuck, but to me, he Danner came and gave the same performance that he did with Calico. I wouldn't necessarily say that it was just like a whole nother level step up from the Calico performance to want that big amount of money if that's not what you charge for Calico because that's just basically almost the same approach and everything that you gave with Calico on Hollow the Don. You just, instead of talking about, you basically called him, you know, do, did the lost nigga thing but just talked about whatever drugs he's supposed to have been on. But at the same time, that's why I say with well, Hollow, Hollow wanted to make the fans and everybody understand like he is no different than us. Then what he's trying to say about me, he sniff coke, he don't have a job, you know, he might, he just hustles another way, He do, he's not the perfect person that he tried to make himself be like, you know, that he's not better than nobody, so when you listen, you know, and that's why I say this is just a classic battle, and it's really just hard for me to say who I really want, because I don't want to, you know, downplay anyone in that battle, but if I had to like, you know, put the lyricism, the wordplay you know, crowd, all that stuff in there, I would have to give it to Lux 2-1. I would have to. You know what I'm saying? But if you could call some shit a tie, I would call this one a tie and say they need to flat out do a rematch. You know what I'm saying? But I want to get y'all opinions. Who did y'all come into the battle think was going was gonna to win and why? You know what I'm saying? And me personally, because I'm always the underdog type person, and that's why I was proud of Hollow in this, because he came and wasn't no slouch, and he did his thing. You know what I'm saying? Now, maybe he need to drink some more water, his his voice projects and stuff like that. He gets to the point sometimes where it's like he gets super amped, but you really can't, you know, hear him. And I think it was unfair for the crowd to do the booing thing with them, you know, with him a couple times, because I know a lot of people... A pick who they think won off of purely just the crowd reaction. So they'd be like, oh, Hollow the Don lost because they started booing. That was just some bullshit. You do have some people out here that just straight loaded Lux fans. I'm not from New York. So it's like, I don't have no bias of who. They both from New York. They both got a little background on each other. And I think that's what made this battle more intense and more of a classic battle for the ages. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to get back to watching it. I'm going to watch it again. You know, and I might end up doing a part want you know a part two to add to this one but i just want to get some of y'all thoughts on what y'all think on who won and why and how do you think this event could have been better you know what i'm saying but i'm gonna um, shoot this one the angry fam you know the angry fam movement and um get his opinion see what's going on i'm gonna get back at y'all man salute holla at your boy and oh yeah make sure you like like the video and subscribe to your boy you know what i mean holla at me